great. This is terrific. It's purple. Is it? What is that color? Help me. Uh, I don't know. It looks different every light, but I figured if I'm coming on your show, it looks like Liberace's poodle. I could be serving <laughs> Good, him. yes. That's, I, you understand entertainment. You understand show business. It's all about flashy suits. I could be wearing, uh, I could be serving Tang in this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> At nine miles above the Earth's surface. All right, now I understand you actually have family with you here tonight? Yeah, I, every time I come to show, where are they? Yeah. Oh, oh there hi they are. there. Okay. There they are. My whole Hello. Family, my, every time I do a talk show, my whole family comes, and my mom and my sister just sit there and say their rosary in the Stations of the Cross, convinced that of praying that I don't make a buffoon of myself, which I appreciate, but you're a little late. <laughs> I've been on MTV for two years, but it's really sweet. It's now, wait a minute. They really do that? They sit there and they audibly say mm. their rosaries? Do you have them in your hands? Yeah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, I know. It's really funny. And I, I, I'm a nervous wreck because I have an aunt who lives in Staten Island, uh -huh. and she's a talk show heckler. She lives, really? she, every day she takes the ferry over and comes to talk shows and heckles all the guests. Like, you're a bum, what are you talking about? You know, like on Donahue <laughs> or, or, <laughs> uh, no. what is it, Wait, uh, it's, She makes like hundreds of thousands a year doing this? No, 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 like, it's, it's, she's like a ringer in the audience. <laughs> like, she's the one, like, she's not shy, right. believe me. No, know? she doesn't sound shy. <laughs> and uh, she heckles all, you know, all the guests and stuff. Really? And why do they let her in? But they must know they her by now. They love her. They love her. My Auntie Grace is like the matriarch of the family. And this is, she's just really funny. She's very opinionated and comes on. So I'm always kind of making, just not giving me the ham hairy eyeball. But yeah. I from, I've got another heckler in my family, too. My Uncle Jimmy. Uh, he's amazing. He lives in Vegas. Uh -huh. And uh, he was telling me, he's the leader of uh, this band, Duffy York. You know, kid, I want to tell you about show business. I didn't get involved. You know, for fame or for a fortune. Well, lucky for him, it worked out that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going great gun for him, I think. No, it. no, no, but he's really sweet. You know, I've, I've got a crazy family. Is he, the, is he the showbiz guy in the family besides he's you? He's the showbiz family, yeah. And then I have a cousin who's a boxer. Uh, the An Irish, Irish boxer? The Irish exterminator. Oh, that's his, oh, he's not an exterminator on the side. No, that no, is his nickname. Yeah, old okay. Irish, I was having lunch with him, and I was like, so, uh, you know, when are you going back in the ring? And my cousin looked at me and goes, What's the name of the month that comes after June? <laughs> May. <laughs> I'm like, not the brightest bulb on the Duffy tree, but we love you anyway. <laughs> no, I you know Irish boxers. They, they're, they're, they're really plucked. They got a lot of pluck. It's they always guys do. about as thin and in shape as me, you know, <laughs> without a shirt, going like this. They never last that long professionally. <laughs> yeah. But, but so he's in show business, and the, the whole family they're pretty supportive. They. Yeah, actually they're really well. You know they're funny. I mean. Uh, my family's in the garbage business in New York here. They've had the business for about 160 years over in That's the West Village. It's a good thing Village. to go into in New York. Yeah, you know, you just know. immediately. <laughs> garbage. You know, the Spud family, they came right over and got in the garbage business. And like, they're the only uh, Irish garbage company in New York. Uh -huh. And so they're always telling me, hey, it doesn't work out, sweetheart. You can come back and work for us. And I'm telling you, you don't have to work in the trucks, do dispatch. So they're funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that I have that to fall back on. That's nice. Yeah, dispatch. Nice. Yeah, I you have do. dispatch. That's mm -hmm. a wonderful thing to fall back on. Yeah, now, <laughs> now, what about now MTV? They, they like that. They, they, they like you being on MTV. They, they think but it's yeah, cool. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they do. It's do fun. you like it? How do you like doing it? I tell you, working on MTV is like dating a major babe who treats you like hell. I mean, it's just like, it's a good, it's really, I'm having a lot of fun. It's, it's okay really to say babe. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right. I like, I like meeting a woman who says babe. Yeah. I like that. Uh, uh, but you, you enjoy it? You like yeah, being on TV? Yeah, I mean, gosh, it's like money undiluted by labor. I mean, I just go in there, <laughs> I'm a big ham, and I just have a ball. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. Now, what about, now, uh, are you into that kind of music? Do you like all the music that you're presenting on MTV? Do you have opinions about it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, what I, I think um, the reason I got hired, and actually, I mean, I hadn't really coveted uh, a job uh, really in front of the camera. I mean, I just... Sent in. I made a cheese ball. Yeah, you started out in, mov in, in in movies, right? You didn't. This wasn't the first thing you did. No, no. I started out doing a few movies, <laughs> and actually, I did one movie. And I was in California. I was working on it, and I saw it before it was released. Uh -huh. So I was driving back from the screen. And I kept thinking, what is it about that movie? What is it? And then I remembered. <laughs> I realized it was the worst movie I had ever seen in my life. I'd better get a new job. <laughs> and so, you were in it. That's yeah. a bad feeling. All so right. So I called up a friend of mine. And I said, dude, I got to get a job quick. I'm box office poison. So uh, he made like a cheese ball $2 production of me being a VJ. And uh -huh. I sent it in unsolicited like on a Friday right before Memorial Day and got a call like the following Tuesday morning to come on. So it was really fun. That's great. But I think what's, it, what, what, um, what helps me is that I, um, it's all new to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got Van Gogh's here for music, the one he chopped off, man. I don't, like, really know a lot of the new <laughs> stuff. I'm much, much, in, like, into the old school, like, love music. Who do you like? Or, 
Well, I just saw Frank Sinatra. My feet haven't hit well, the ground. Well, when did you see Frank? I saw him Sunday. Sunday. Night. You, Sunday you were there night. Sunday. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Sunday All right. Night. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. This will take five minutes. What a show. Park. No, did you enjoy it? I thought he was great. He I was thought. great. I had never seen him before, and it's really like seeing them wheel out, you know, Mount Rushmore or something. Oh, it's, it's like, amazing. wow, that's really, that's Frank Sinatra, and he's right there. It's yeah. like a Disney ride, you know. It's it like amazing. seeing a president. Mm -hmm. no. It sounded great. He sounded amazing. He yeah. sounded terrific. Mm -hmm. See, what we do, my best friend and I, every time we go, we see Sinatra every time we can. We make a nice big pot of spaghetti, and then we make Father Guido Sarducci super celebrity sauce. That's where you take a half a jar of Frank Sinatra sauce uh -huh. and a half a jar of the Paul Newman sauce, uh -huh. and then three <laughs> tablespoons of Marlon um, uh, Whalen Jennings all-star barbecue sauce. I thought you said Marlon Perkins. Uh, no, no, I was going to say, I didn't know he had a sauce. <laughs> no, he has two. <laughs> good for and, him. Uh, yeah, well, it's always a good idea. So we make the super celebrity sauce, and then uh, my best friend Lori said, you know, we should really try and drink as much as Frank Sinatra does during his show. So that was <laughs> I thought the coolest thing, it was just a great, a cool moment. I had never seen Frank Sinatra. He sings the songs, he sounds great, and at one point he just takes out a cigarette and lights up. And there was something about just seeing Frank Sinatra light up a cigarette. Mm -hmm. I thought, he that's is neat. So that's like. so cool. He's a king love daddy. He's yeah. amazing. All right. Really well, it was a good show. And so, and things are going well for you. Mm -hmm. And you're actually going to come out in a movie, Dumb and Dumber, with, with Jim Carrey. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, actually, uh, that, we just start, that just started shooting today. So I'm off to do that next. So that won't be out for like two years. Or no, definitely they do it pretty quick. I right. mean, I'm not like, don't, don't expect Gandhi from me. No, I'll do it. I'll tell you. No, it's a lot of fun. I'm playing a hitman in this one. So You're playing play. a hitman. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. In this raincoat and the whole thing. I think I'd stick out a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, listen, it was very nice talking to you. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks very much for coming by. Great. Duff, everybody. Cameron Duffy. <laughs> nice seeing you. Yeah, good to have you. All right, folks, we'll be right back. Stick around.